All right, I'm Nick. Now you can see this footage right here. It's fast forward quite a bit. It shows you the morning just out there. Nice morning, it was like 60 something degrees when we started. Perfect hoodie weather. Got hot pretty quick. Just drinking some water, putting some sunscreen on, hoping to catch a quality fish, knowing that there were sailfish out there. Uh, eventually I'm just looking at my phone and then the phone rings, right? Usually I reply to emails during the morning if I'm out there fishing. Uh, phone rings, guy needs some help, here it is. Oh, what's up? You want a selfish? You have a selfish hook up? You need help? Yeah, I come, I want to, I, I heard you hook it. And I looked up and I saw it. Uh, look, where you hooked it, I've hooked like four or five in the last three or four years. When I came up earlier and I saw, I didn't know who were. I didn't want to get in your way. Um, hey, just keep it away from you for right now. And I'll come tell you what to do. Uh, just, just make sure the bill does not, don't ever get in the spot where you're reeling towards the water. That's all, that's really it. Okay, I'll, I'll put the Bixby down. I'll be there for the Bixby. So that's a real good one. There you go. All right, so now you kind of just bring them back to you. Unless you want me just to go grab them. It's up to you. I think you should do it yourself. It's a better experience that way. Uh, no, bring the rod tip up slowly. You need to let out a little bit of line. Like pull some line off. But don't open the bail. Just pull it off. Now, now bring him up, bring him up. But you gotta keep him on the surface when you do it, okay? Because when he dies down there, that's, that's where he wants to be. There you go, now keep the rod tip to the right. You don't want to go underneath the kayak. There you go. I'm turn the kayak. There you go. Now remember, he's probably wrapped around the bill. Okay, now you gotta let out some line though. Now raise the rod as you do it, just to keep him on the surface. It's a bit of a challenge. There you go. He's hooked inside of the head. That makes why it's so hard to pull up. Okay. No, 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 don't. Remember, you got one shot. Pull him to the right a little bit. Especially with that hook being right there. That's a gorgeous fish, buddy. Yeah. Okay, so remember, there you go. Remember, that that treble hook touches that kayak, you is gone. Okay, so pull some line out when you get him up. See, he's tired. He's done realistically. Now pull some more line out. Pull some more line out. There you go. Rod, you gotta bring his head up though. Him being hooked in the back of the head like that is not making your life easy right now. Yeah, every time I feel him. Yeah, because he's hooked in the side of the head. The uh there you go though. It's like now you're you're like 12 inches behind where you want him hooked, yeah. so it's harder to reach. Uh, I would just lean forward as far as you can lean. I've lost fish. Well, at least you're in shape, dude. Makes it easier. Him being hooked so far back, it makes it difficult for you to get him yourself. Yeah. Okay, even if you have to, now, obviously he's tired. He's worn out. Grab it. When you grab it, you hold it. Don't let go. All right, now open the bail. Whatever happens to the line or the spool happens to the spool, okay? Um, you got snips anywhere? What I'll do is I'll just cut that floro. Just cut the floro. Who cares? You're going to need a new rig anyways. Now get the rod out of the way. So she don't go swimming. Mm -hmm. Just pull her up in the kayak, man. They're actually pretty surprisingly light. Uh, I mean, it's probably just because the weight is so uh, spread out all over the place. I'm gonna turn around. Really, you're gonna turn around if we want to get some good video. Yeah. Because I'll turn you around because the sun. Grab her by the head, though. 
That's the only way she can get away. Well, there you go. First sailfish. It's a stud. Okay. Take your hand and grab that sail. There you go. There she is, buddy. There she is. Yeah, that's a cool experience. Yeah, that's awesome. The uh, That's a gorgeous fish, too. All right, so what we'll do is when you go to revive it, we're going to get it back in the water. Get that treble hook out of her. Uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, but hey, however it works, it works. Yeah. Look how pretty she is. Like, see, like the purple spots on her. Yeah, They're gonna disappear, so you gotta admire them while you can. Cause look, they just legitimately just went from being purple to brown. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> look at that big old eye. See, how, like that big old eye, like yeah. looks at you. Big old tuna eye. Yeah, you know, it like checks you out too. Like you can, like we we're talking about yesterday. You can actively see it looking around, like checking you out. All right, I put that bill in your right hand, uh, and then slide her back in the water. Now you gotta keep holding on. You have to lean right. At least it's, it's pretty easy to do an outback though, because it's already so low. Now you got to pedal for a while when she starts kicking her tail. Uh, but this is when we'll be able to get that good sideways shot, which we probably already have it too. But this will give us a good look at uh the length. Okay, now try to write her, try to write her up so she's level or like with the water. There you go. Uh, and I would pedal into the current. Now, if your hand is by her mouth, she will bite you. Ask me how I know. <laughs> it, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. Okay. Uh, it's just one of those things like what the heck does that? Uh, but yeah, that's perfect. Oh, she's about we got a good reference of her. Like, so, so her tail, we have a good reference. Yeah. I mean, that's a good fish though, man. Uh, Legal, but it is not worth it. No, it's not worth the risk, man. Not to mention, okay, so there's been four caught all year now yeah. that we know of. Uh, it would be nice if they came in September every year and there were just they were everywhere. That'd be awesome. Yeah. It all depends on the weather, though. Yeah, and then you just kind of wait till that tail starts moving. You can see our tails up in the air. Uh, typically speaking, when you let go, she will go down and then level out. Good. <laughs> That's a gorgeous fish, man. I would hold on to it just for a little while longer, just to make sure. Yeah, once you let go. Once you let go, I ain't going down there. Yeah. But her tail started to do some, do some things. And... Look at there. Yeah, it's a beautiful freaking creature. Yeah. No doubt about that. I'm glad I called you. Yep. Your number was on Facebook. Ah, there you go. It's all over the internet. <laughs> Oh, it's like a local phone number at seven o'clock. It's kind of weird. Hello, this is our kayak fishing. This is Nick. Hell yeah, I'll come check out your selfish. Uh, heck yeah. I'm feeling good. Yeah. You see how the color's starting to come back? Yeah. Uh, that's good. Yeah, you see our tail starting to do her thing? Mm -hmm. That's good, buddy. All right, I would just kind of push her away from you. Okay. Go one, two, three. Yeah, you see how she's just gonna kind of go down. Never flipped over, tails moving. 